Hey there, this is Yoshi.、Uh, this is my、uh, day off orchid blog.、Uh, happy Father's Day.、Uh, and I'm planning on actually uploading it on the same day too today. <laughs>、uh, it's my、uh, a three day weekend.、Uh, I will be off tomorrow too. But <laughs> that doesn't mean I would do day off orchid blog two days in a row. So don't worry about that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, let's take a look at this、uh, outside orchid first. Here's a cymbidium, finally opened.、Um, this one went through the chilly winter.、Uh, two spikes survived, surprisingly. This side has not opened yet. But yeah. I still can't repot then. I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, should I force it and just、uh, repot while it's in bloom or something? I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, only those two. I think I、uh, talked about this last time, but only those two and the King g i a n u m s Oh, and the n o b i l e hybrid are outside at this point. It's what? Going to end of June and 50 degree. How about that? 90% humidity though. It's been raining. We,、uh, we're trying to go on the backyard and do a yard work and we just can't do anything. It's been raining.、Uh, I think we had like two or three days of a sunny day total from counting from maybe April or something. This is insane. Lack of light. I don't know what to say to that. Anyway, let's go into a greenhouse. Alrighty, the fan is off.、Um, let's see. Here's the、uh, Carasidum type. That I got from、uh, Michael McCarthy, budding up nicely.、Uh, this one is Orchid Glade, Dave Ranchers Cross, c a t a c e t u m Mem, Raul, Monera, Panedo, Great Lips. Names, names. <laughs> So long of a name. Anyways, uh, uh, where do I begin? It's、uh, seriously,、uh, the growth is there. There are a lot of、uh, new growth coming up nicely and then just、uh, not giving me an expected spike. For example, this one.、Uh, this is a Mem Grant Eichler. Has a really nice two new growth here and here. To, be, uh, to start with, but then see it's not getting enough sun or something or light. It's not,、uh, it didn't have a sheath and it's a little wimpy. Gotta be a little careful with this.、Uh, Bandas, I don't really see anything spiking. Usually around this, this season, some would be in spike, but、uh, I don't see any besides this、uh, Aridus. So that's the only hope for that.、Uh, here's a Brassabola p e r i l n e a i Smells nice. There's、uh, one more spike here. Five buds. Not too bad, not too bad.、Um, but, like, seriously, it's just a. This one, for example, I was thinking. It created sheath. This is another SBO class that I,、uh, I had it for a long time. Never seen it bloomed yet. And I thought for this time I would see it, but it ended up nothing in it.、Um, here is、uh, what is this? Toshie's Magic Doris. Also, I thought I would see a、uh, bloom finally. This is like a You know,、um, from Camilla, 
you get like a two year old or three years or two to three years to bloom kind of deal um and this was kind of promising but it's not blooming yet i guess it's the uh, um miniature ones too that uh i thought it would but it's not having any sheath in it um Oh, wait a minute. Huh, well, that's interesting thought. I just realized I have two BLC Toshiez Magic Doris. Huh, I actually didn't know. Um, anyhow, this new growth also does not have sheath in it. Um, this is kind of hopeful, but I don't know. This is... Uh, Hinshin Grand Kathleen. It bloomed last year. So hopeful. There's a new growth right here looking good. Um, but this one has been my uh, go to. Very reliable bloomer. But this year, no. This one had a sheath and it dried up or something like that and uh, very wimpy growth this is a new growth believe me or not yeah yeah and this one is the newest one and there's no sheath for that one um here's a here's a uh, sea breeze from uh, todd's todd gave it to me um uh, lots of uh, cotton with cuts and cotton everywhere actually I uh, had a this is the new growth and this is the new growth and nothing it's seriously I can tell you lack of light there is um, Catlia hybrid that I got from Nicole Diana and I cannot find it. Where is, oh yeah. So this is supposedly miniature. And I believe hers is blooming. Now she grows it in uh, artificial light. So compared to that, even though it's in greenhouse and you would think I get a lot of light, but I don't, unfortunately especially this year this is so crazy we usually have warmer weather and most of the orchids would go outside under the porch too uh, like i was i am well i'm still am planning on and bringing out all the catacetum types out but i still can't do it it's like uh it sometimes goes down to 40 too it's crazy so this one I tell you in a sense though that means if uh, there's a catlias blooming now in my greenhouse that probably means it could bloom with uh, not too strong of a light then right anyhow when I got apple blossom I still don't smell anything unfortunately uh, I do smell something though uh, but it's not like something that I would go wow kinda whereas my wife and Violet went really crazy with the smell so that means I'm not smelling something uh, here's the thing I have a uh, nodosa the, the smell of nodosa is kinda similar to this and again I'm not impressed with nodosa's fragrance so uh, there's some similarity on the type of a fragrance i think that's what it was and it's too bad i don't really smell it nicely here uh, you might hear the wind blowing but this is a uh, see i'm trying to block the wind hitting my camera uh, this is a dendrobium tarragonum tarragonum my first time re-blooming here, they glow really, really fast. Um, I have uh, three new growth and they're all like matured already. 
so that's pretty exciting but this one is the only one with the spike though but anyhow I'll take it right here's the second bloom of a daisy chain this is for sale um, it's pretty cute it's not gonna last a long time but yeah look at how cute it is blowing in the wind anyhow um, Sologeny I just checked this is a Sologeny Cristata I just checked uh, all those uh, new one a little bit tiny division is starting uh, new growth uh, maybe not this one actually I don't know I forgot uh, yeah this one has I don't know if you can see it but there's a tiny new growth here here and I believe this one has it too I can't maybe not this one I don't know yeah not that one uh, we'll see but those two at least are starting new growth so that's good that's good okay so what am I doing this three days off that I usually never have I've been putting up all those uh, uh, plugs um, not only the plugs from uh, last week delivery but I had I also had whole bunch of uh, uh, plugs from two weeks ago too or two weeks ago three weeks ago something like that um, so I need to put them up so that's what I've been working on it's gonna be listed and getting ready for farmers market also um, Stanhopia Reiken Bakiana doing really well this time for for the first time it's still not opened but it's got a two new growths so I'm pretty excited about it I uh, lost the original one I had so this is very uh, exciting uh, I guess uh, I guess that oh, again had a direct light coming in and then I put the uh, what do you call it bubble wrap I think that's the charmer right there so yeah uh, what else um, this thing is still budding up this is how real I love a burst uh, finally have some color though yeah yeah um, I like this one it's pretty cute And here's another Reiki and Bakiana. This one is for sale. Uh, looks like uh, it's budding up nicely. So it's gonna be a challenge to safely pack it though if somebody buys it, but it's still here. So I guess I don't have to worry about it on, at this point. <laughs> okay, now here's some Hoya. Um, Pola. <laughs> <laughs> um, trying to be nice and she, you know you know how nice she is she's trying to give me a Hoya uh, and she was asking me what kind of a Hoya I have and I guess I owe her a Hoya video because this is all Hoyas some of you know I used to collect a lot of Hoyas and this is not it I still have a few in the living room too so yeah um and some of them are pretty rare that you probably can't find anywhere um so yeah i am good with the hoya gift paula here's a lobby eye hoya lobby eye dark red only six blooms but it will take i will take it when it's open you'll see the quite a quite a view it doesn't last that long though unfortunately but anyways so that's that um hoyas are not really growing well in my greenhouse 
for some reason well i shouldn't say that it's either it's gonna grow really well or it don't grow really well either way there's no in between like uh, iris mary is finally taking off i guess i wasn't watering enough or something but see look at that i lost one already i had two and glad i had i got this one still alive because this one is gifted from a very very well-known hoya grower um so i'm glad um but i lost that i lost uh something else too um but anyhow it's gonna be a different video i'll make a different video just for hoyas um i got a spike on Epidendrum nocturnum. I'm pretty excited about that. I saw uh, Justin's and Paula's, so I am very, very excited about it. Um, and here is an update on what is this, Australis? Yeah, Valia Australis. Very, very nicely rooting. And finally, see a new growth here. So very very excited about it um dendrobium anosmums and parisia is doing really well holcoglossum is so far growing uh, there are two pieces but i think this piece is dead unfortunately but this one is doing fine um and i'm gonna leave you with this this is the main thing here how about this this is a uh, Cattleya Ludemaniana, uh, Miranda Orchids Cross Elton. How about that? It's a uh, not white, not complete white. It's a little bit more Sorolua type, I would say. Yeah, this diff is definitely not pink. How about that? I love it. And it bloomed for me with this light situation. So I have a regular uh, Luden Mania though. And it's it's got a wimpy growth. I don't know why, but anyhow. Yeah, uh, I am so proud of this one doing really well. Uh, very pretty. I had only one bloom when I got it last year and gave me four this time and i have one more new growth here i don't know if it's got the sheath or not but hopefully i don't know so we're gonna end you with this and uh you have a nice father's day to all you fathers okay thank you for watching bye